I think that really Web3 is the reliable version of Web2. And, and the preconditions for that being attractive are that Web3 systems meet the speed, scalability, and privacy properties of Web2 systems. So we are at least at parity. And then you, you have to think about what are the additional properties of Web3 systems that Web2 systems will never have. And that is user control, transparency to manage counterparty risk, and basically global access and efficiency. Now, global access and efficiency right now allows people to get 8% on the U.S. dollar within the DeFi ecosystem. 8% on the U.S. dollar in an inflation inflationary environment is very, very attractive. So I, I think the, the, the reality of our industry is that we are quickly approaching parity on all the other features to Web2. At the same time, the world is becoming scarier and inflation is becoming more of a problem and user controlled applications are becoming more desirable because applications that users don't control can basically screw over their users in ways that are unexpected and painful. All of those dynamics create demand and the speed at which those dynamics happen actually creates more and more demand. So if DeFi becomes one of the few places where you can protect your fiat holdings against inflation by having an 8% rate of return, I mean, that is just very, very hard to compete with. 